Hi everyone, today I'll do something I never did here, build something small and simple. Actually the whole point of this video is to reach Minmus with the smallest rocket I can manage. The complete craft weighs less than 10 tons, which was my goal, and it is pretty hard to put into orbit. The first stage is rather typical with a long 1.25 meters tank and a swivel engine. Things become more interesting on the second stage with a small albeit not the smallest tank and three engines, a spark and two twitches. The spark alone did not provide enough thrust to beat gravity. It was supposed to be able to reach orbit on those two first stages alone, but minor deviation in my trajectory ended costing me more delta V than what I had in mind. Thus, the ion engine was fired to finish the secularization. With those two first stages down, the craft is now pretty lightweight, and the small ion engine provides quite the acceleration compared to the small thrust. After a small inclination correction, shooting towards Minmus still requires a long burn of about 8 minutes, but considering the change in delta V needed, it's still pretty cool. And the more fuel we burn, the more efficient the craft becomes. It's no surprise that circular rising around Minmus is a breeze. The same goes for landing, which I expected to be a bit more sporty. The only complicated thing was the fact that the small reaction wheel is a bit too powerful for the craft at this point. Taking off and leaving Minmus sphere of influence is routine, but considering the amount of delta V left in the tank and inclination of the orbit, I passed through a parking orbit. Now came the hard question, I have no heat shield and only a drug shoot, because you know, wait. Should I try to aero break or be reasonable? I decided to do both. I made a few passes high through the atmosphere to bleed off some speed and then a couple of burns to empty most of the xenon tanks before landing. Now the problem with ion engines is that burning on the dark side is impossible without huge batteries, so a re-entry had to be done on the night side. Surprisingly enough, nothing blew up during re-entry, which is a bad thing, because I kind of hope to lose some weight like this. Well, it's time for plan B. The drug shoot slows us down to a quite low speed, but it's still too fast to risk landing. I had to time a jump out of the seat right before impact and it was enough to save our brave carbon nodes and only him. The rest of the ship blew up in the water. Anyways, it was crazy come and trying crazy technologies for you. Don't forget to subscribe for more and have a nice day in space.